New at 430, they are often the place to store your most important documents and any family heirlooms, the safe deposit box at your local bank. But a South Holland woman reached out to us after a trip to the vault left her feeling forgotten because she says she was not once, but twice. Mm. This fifth third bank in South Holland is the site of a story you can file under what are the odds? And it's told by Faye Abayon 4. I've been banking with them since 1987, 86, you know, when we first moved in here. She has a safe deposit box in its basement. In September of last year, Ford was there to check on her things. She says an employee escorted her down to the vault and said she'd be back shortly to lock that box back up. I was already finished, you know, within 15 minutes. And I waited, waited, nobody came, waited. Over an hour later, Ford was looking for options. She saw a phone in the room that was supposed to dial upstairs, but no one answered. She didn't have her cell phone on her. I was really panicking because I don't know whether the people would close the bank and forget about me downstairs and I will be there for the night. Ford was afraid to leave her valuable box behind, and it was too heavy to carry upstairs. So she waited and waited and waited. Eventually, fearing the bank would close, she left that vault, abandoning her precious possessions. He looked at me and says, oh my God, the, 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 the lady went to lunch and forgot about you. Ford was shaken and later filed a complaint. We exchanged emails with a spokesperson from Fifth Third Bank about the incident who apologized, blaming it on human error, promising also to have that vault phone checked as it should always be answered. Ford kept banking at Fifth Third and didn't have a problem again until this September. I said, oh my God, here I go again. She was back at her box and says an employee told her they'd be back in 15 minutes. But 45 passed with no sign of anyone. I saw the phone again in that desk. I dialed that same phone, kept, uh, you know, all the numbers listed that's supposed to connect upstairs or somebody. Nobody picked up the phone. This time she had her cell, but when she called the branch's line, she says no one answered. She finally got through to the bank's national customer service line, asking that they contact South Holland to tell them she was downstairs. Do you have any faith in them right no. now that things will change, that this won't happen no, to you no, again no. or anyone else? No, Marie, because as a matter of fact, I wrote the, the uh, letter uh, uh, filing a complaint to the regional manager of 53rd Bank. In that letter, Ford outlined both incidents, begging the bank to take the safety and well-being of customers into account. We also reached out again to Fifth Third Bank to ask about what clearly wasn't an isolated incident. The vice president of public relations responded, promising that moving forward, customers visiting the South Holland branch vaults will have a staffer remain in close proximity the entire time. Somebody did not take this seriously. The bank also extended another apology to Ford. She hopes that really is the last time that she and her safe deposit box are stranded.